Welcome everyone to Isla Morada, Key's History and Discovery Center. Today we talk about Moat Marine Laboratory and I am so pleased to introduce our special guest, the CEO and President of Moat Marine Laboratory, Dr. Michael Crosby, who is here today in the Keys to celebrate World Oceans Day. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being with us. We look uh, forward to hearing from you. It's my pleasure. I always love coming down here to the History and Discovery Center and seeing you and everyone here and always learn something new every time I come here about the incredible history of uh, Isle Morata and the Florida Keys. Um, but today is World Ocean Day and uh, it's a great day for a celebration. Um, and as we know, it's a day to really raise awareness and consciousness about conservation and sustainable use of our ocean resources. And there's no community any place in the world that has a better understanding and appreciation for conservation and sustainable use and the intimate connection that we all have with the oceans than the communities here in Isle Morada and the Florida Keys. Um, all around the world, people are connected with the oceans, sometimes whether they know it or not. And that's because usually people like to breathe. And the overwhelming majority of the oxygen in our atmosphere that we breathe every day comes from the ocean, not from the land. And so if you want to continue to breathe, we do need to take care of our oceans. And if you want a good, healthy ocean, you've got to have a good, healthy rainforest of the sea or our coral reefs. And that's why today on World Oceans Day 2020, Moat is so pleased to celebrate the future of our coral reefs here in the Keys. Our coral reefs are not in good shape right now, and so we've got to launch a bold new initiative to restore these coral reefs. And in fact, the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary has just launched a major seven iconics reef program in which seven iconic reefs in the Florida Keys will be focused on for restoration activities, and that's great news. Unfortunately, most of the coral reef restoration has occurred down in Key West, in the Lower Keys, and up in Key Largo, and not so much here in Isle Morada. But one of the seven iconic reefs is Chica Rocks, right here in Isle Morada. And so today, we were thrilled to be able to sign a memorandum of understanding to bring coral restoration right here to Isle Morada through a great new partnership that we have with the Stancic family and Bud and Mary's Marina. There at Bud and Mary's Marina, we will join together to create the first ever coral nursery that will be located at the Bud and Mary's Marina and these coral will be grown out and planted out on the coral reefs of Isle Morada and Chica Rocks. We've also formed a great new partnership today with iCares, the Isle Morada Conservation and Restoration Education Initiative. And it's this way that the great science that Moat does to identify over 1,600 genotypes of 17 different species of coral, the largest collection of biodiversity of coral species any place in a single place in the world. The science is able to partner with community engagement through iCares and our partnership with Bud and Mary's Marina. And so together, we're gonna to be able to restore these coral reefs all around Isle Morada. And we're celebrating today, not just the oceans, but the great partnerships that we have. Partnerships like that, that Moat has with the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. And I would invite you all to come here, learn more about the incredible history of the Keys, learn more about the ocean through Moat's aquariums that are here, uh, in the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. Um, we also are celebrating some great partnerships with others here in the Isle Morata community. The Florida Keys Brewing Company brews a great set of beers, but one in particular, the Resistant Strain, I would encourage you all to try because the proceeds from the sale of the Florida Keys Brewing Company's Resistant Strain beer come back to Moat to help support our efforts to restore these coral reefs. We also partner with Art by Pasta. And for those of you that know the great artist Pasta who's here in town, he is very generous with his paintings and donates proceeds from auctions of those paintings at our Ocean Fest uh, happenings here in Isle Morada. And that helps raise more money for Moat to again support coral reef 
research, and restoration. So I invite you all to come here to Isle Morada, learn about all the new great things that we're doing here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center, here at the new Coral Nursery at Bud and Mary's Marina, and learn more about our partnership with iCares and how you can get involved in restoring these coral reefs in the Florida Keys. What else would you like to know now that it's Ocean Day? You got any questions or comments you'd like to have come in? You know, Moat's been here a long time in the Keys and folks don't know that. Um, I actually was born in Florida and lived here when I was just a little fella. Um, and we used to have a living coral cover here at that time that was 60%. Now, unfortunately, our living coral cover is less than 5% and our coral reefs are on the brink of functional extinction. That's why it's important for these partnerships, it's important for the growth of moat here in the Keys so that we can restore these coral reefs. So I invite you again, come down, join us, come and visit Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. It's at the uh, Islander Resort. Uh, come on down to Summerlin Key and visit our new facilities down there, the Elizabeth Moore International Center for Coral Reef Research and Restoration. Um, come and learn more about what we're doing at our coral nursery that we'll be building very soon at Bud and Mary's Marina. And then go out and dive with eye cares and actually restore our coral reefs. So thank you all very, very much. And from the entire Moat family, I wish you all a very, very happy World Oceans Day. We're looking to begin construction of the new coral nursery, the first of its kind, uh, on Isle Morada at Bud and Mary's Marina before the end of this year. And I hope that by the end of the year, we're actually gonna be producing little coral that we're gonna be transplanting out in next year out to these coral reefs here in Isle Morada. Now, Blake, are you gonna come on in? And yeah. Here's our man, Blake, right here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. And uh, Blake makes sure that these aquarium are all just looking tip top. He's a, he's a great naturalist, a biologist, that knows uh, more about the care and feeding of these animals than just about anybody. But let me move out of the way here so you can take a look at those fish having their midday lunch. And Blake, what do we got in here in terms of living organisms? So we have in this tank all native species to the Florida Keys down here. So we get a nice variety of the fish and invertebrates that we would see down here. We've got our spiny lobster, which is the crowd favorite. We also have French angel fish, which is the large black fish there. We have pork fish a balloon fish, then we have a few assorted tangs and butterfly fish in here. So we're just going ahead and feeding them their lunch. They get served every day, five days a week. And it's just a mixture of krill and mysis shrimp. Looks delicious. Oh yes, they are very spoiled. They get fed the cream of the crop. And then we're gonna also feed our lobster down there. So we're gonna see if we can get him his lunch. He gets a thawed out raw shrimp. So he is eating better than I'm eating. He gets a nice seafood diet every day of the week. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shrimp here, we're gonna put it on our feed pole, and we're gonna have to try and get it down to him. Oh, you got it.
got to make sure our buffer friend doesn't steal it from him. Though. There you go. But you know, some days we just get it where he doesn't want to cooperate. Well, you feed him so well. And it's looking like today is one of those days. So we might have to just try it in a little bit. He wants to come out and get his, his lunch. Well, he doesn't look like he's starving. No. Well, thanks, Blake. No problem. All right, so I think we're drawing near an end of our uh, session here, and I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, and I would invite you all uh, to consider joining us in furthering science-based coral restoration here in the Keys. Get involved uh, and begin to give back to the seas that have given us so much for so long. Thank you all very much, and again, happy World Oceans Day.